Hey, we're going to open up a Mitsubishi ceiling cassette air conditioner. The model that I'm opening is a uh, MLZ KP09NA, that's an MLZ09KPNA, and we're going to find the CN105 connector, uh, which is something like that, because we're going to install, um, there are lots of times you want to install remote control of this unit. There's a Kumo cloud, there's a bunch of hacks uh, that you can do with Arduino. Uh, I'm going to install this one uh, that, that I made on a, a Waymos uh, D1 Mini. Okay, here's the, uh, here's the unit installed in the room. Uh, you only need one tool to make this work, and that's a uh, Phillips head screwdriver. There are two releases on the outside of the panel. Let those go in unison. It comes down. It's a great design. It's got uh, straps to stop anything from falling, so don't worry. Use your Phillips head screwdriver to remove the only, the only screw that's really visible. Don't let that fall. You're working upside down. Put that in your pocket. This entire thing is the panel that you're going to remove now, and the main circuit board, all the electronics are inside of there. Pull this with your finger, and then I push a little bit, compress it, kind of make it smaller, and then it comes off very easily. Like I said, it's a great design, so this just hangs from a strap. That reveals the inside. You're gonna remove two electrical panels that are covering these boxes. Here's one, here's two. There are only four screws involved. One, two, three, and four. I'm gonna leave number four in because I can remove this second cover just by sliding the cover out from under the fourth screw. Okay, I'm gonna start loosening these, uh, removing three of these screws and loosening the fourth. Like I said, push up hard. They're seated pretty firmly at the factory. There's number one. Hopefully you watched the beginning of this video where I caution you to turn the power off at the whip at the main cutoff. You don't want to kill yourself just trying to install something small. Here's number two. Hold this panel. You're working against gravity. It's going to fall on your face if you don't catch it. So I'm going to catch this second screw and here comes the first electrical cover. Remember how it goes in. It goes in so you can read it from this position. And now I'm going to loosen the third screw. Just a little bit like that. Now this cover is, is, is holding the main electrical panel of the cassette up into the unit. So when this comes off, the main electronics board is just gonna slide down. This is gonna pull on it, but this is super light. This weighs maybe a couple ounces. Okay, now I'm in here for screw four. I might be lucky and not drop either of them. There we go. Down. So let's do that. There we go. I just slide that off. And then here comes the main board. This is really light, this piece. So I've just, in the past, I've just let it, let it dangle. And then I see how far down I can get this. All right, so that reveals in there. You can see the CN105. It's right there. The red one in the middle. You can pull this connector. And then the board comes down quite a bit more. And here's your CN105 right there. Okay, here's my, uh, my D1 Mini. I'm gonna plug that in. Okay, here we go. Here's the CN105 in the middle. I'm gonna plug my D1 Mini in there. Plugs right in. Okay, after plugging that in, I'm gonna put this one back. There we go. Reseat this board. Now I'm using this metal plate to slide this up and down. These wires are going to be routed all the way over here, and I'm just going to have it dangle. The thing weighs nothing. I'm going to seat the electrical cover underneath the fourth screw. There we go. And now I'm going to put screw number three back in. Okay, I'm going to put screw number three back in. Tighten back up screw number four. Now I'm going to go and get the cover and put two more screws back in. 
Okay, I've got the cover plate back. I'm gonna route these wires through that hole. My Waymos is gonna kinda dangle in here. Okay, putting the screws back in. One more screw. Okay. Okay, so there it is, mounted in. There's no friction here, it's just floating. None of these wires are compressed. This is probably grounded pretty well. I'm gonna put a piece of electrical tape to stop the USB from touching this cover, this electrical cover plate. I've got the, the Waymo set to be able to do over the air updates, so I never have to go back in here again. And that's it, we can go and control that from our home automation system, which is Home Assistant in my case. Hey, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe.